Hey everyone, welcome to Geek World. So anime's sick today, so listening to her is going to sound a little bit like listening to a trash compactor. It's not but that's nice. okay. That's okay, okay? So uh, just remember, she's sick. She doesn't normally sound like this. Maybe you do. Maybe you've been tricking us the whole time. Yeah, well, you know what? Unfortunately, you do always sound like that. How dare you? Either way, it's yeah. been a very exciting week for geeky stuff. So we're going to talk about some stuff. We're going to talk about the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer. We're going to talk about the new Wonder Woman and uh, maybe some other stuff. So let's start off with the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer. I don't know about you, anime, but I thought it was freaking amazing. Yeah, it was really exciting. They they really did a good job of making me really, really excited for the movie. Yeah, I think this movie is going to be the one that makes all the naysayers go, you know what, I'm glad they rebooted this franchise. I mean, it looks tremendous. Even from that shot in the trailer where, like, the cop car flips over and Spider-Man catches it. Uh -huh. I mean, that was so awesome. But, I mean, come on. Electro, Green Goblin, yeah. Rhino. Rhino is like a giant mech suit. He's like a Transformer. And let's not forget the little hint of Doc Ock and Vulture. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. You don't see Electro that much in this trailer, but he does have a cool, like, little moment there. So, everyone in the city will know how it feels to live in a world without Spider-Man. It really seemed like this one was actually a lot about Dane DeHaan's character, of course, who's Harry Osborn. Right. Who uh, looks like he's actually going to be the Green Goblin in this movie. Mm -hmm. We saw Chris Cooper is playing Norman Osborn in the trailer, and he's like all sickly and stuff. And it looks like, you know, Harry is the guy who's on the glider mm -hmm. with the green sort of techie suit. And also, it looks like he went, like, had some sort of transformation because he's got this crazy hair, this crazy blonde hair and pointy ears. Well, maybe it's a mask or wig. Big. No, I don't think so. I think he went through a transformation, much like Spider-Man. Yeah, maybe. Because, you know, it happened in Oscorp. Do you remember that? See the first movie? It's true. It did. It happened. I just think it's going to be freaking spectacular. I really loved everything. I saw the action. I'm super excited about the Rhino now for the I know. first time. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. All right, next up, let's talk about Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman anime. Okay, Wonder so we... Woman! Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Okay. I think for the longest time, people were like, they're never going to make a Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. And then I remember, you know, for a while we were talking about the fact that, you know, they will have Wonder Woman, but she'll show up in like the Justice League movie or something yeah. like that. You know, she's going to be sort of like the Incredible Hulk, you know? Uh, and then news came out last week that she's going to be a Batman versus Superman. Mm -hmm. And the same week, they said that they already cast Gal Gadot from the Fast and Furious franchise as Diana Prince. Wonder Woman. Yeah, now this is a... Wonder Woman! Now, a lot of people on the internet are, are complaining about it. They're, she's too skinny. She's this. She's that. She's the other thing. I personally think that she's a really good choice. Now, one of the things that makes her a great choice is that she is a woman. She's not a little girl. You know, she's not like a oh, teenager. Yeah. She is a woman. Not only is she a woman, but she's five foot nine. And as far as I'm concerned, it, it's important that Wonder Woman be tall. You know, she oh, has yeah. to stand there with the guys, both both metaphorically, but also physically. I agree. You know, I the reason I like her is I liked her in the Fast and Furious movies. I like the fact that she wasn't just like a sex object in those movies. Mm -hmm. You know, she was like the strong character that like had her own skills. I like the fact that, you know, she's Israeli. I yes. like the fact that she's exotic and she seems kind of tough. And, mm -hmm. you know, she doesn't seem like one of these women. You know, we were talking about Jamie Alexander for a long time. Yeah. Who plays Sif. In Thor, and a lot of people wanted her, and that's totally understandable. She looks like Wonder Woman. She's very warrior-like. Exactly, but the thing is, Jamie Alexander looks like the girl next door. You know, right. she looks like the girl you went to high school with, you went to college with, which is, there's no problem with that. But, you know, uh, Gal Gadot has this almost otherworldly quality because mm -hmm. of the fact that she's exotic. And Wonder Woman is an Amazon. She should have that exotic kind of look, something something different from, from what you see every day. Exactly, and also I think that, you know, they will have her pack on, I'm, I'm sure, some way, but mm -hmm. I think once she puts the costume on and she's around everyone else I don't think you're gonna see her as like too skinny like yeah. I really doubt there's gonna be a lot of scenes with her in like a two piece bikini yeah. in Batman vs Superman as Wonder Woman and the fact is they can always add padding where padding is needed <laughs> totally now one of the things that I think that a lot of people who have been complaining about her on the internet keep on kind of glossing over is the fact that as you mentioned she's Israeli yeah if you're Israeli, you spend two years in the army. Yes. You know, uh, that is an important thing. 
I know that everyone has to do it, but that doesn't mean that it's easy. That no. doesn't mean that anybody could do it. If you're going to gloss over it, then go join the freaking army. Yeah, See well, how you like it. Well, it's also interesting, too, because I can't imagine there's that many actresses in America and Hollywood that ever served any time in the military whatsoever. Yeah. I think there's a few here and there, there are, yeah. but it's very rare. I think you're right. I think that really helps. And yeah, it, I, means that she's, it means that she's a fighter. It means that she has that warrior spirit to her. Yes. And I bet you know some awesome Krav Maga. Oh, totally, totally. Uh, and I also think the other important thing is, you know, Wonder Woman, is, to me, is synonymous with Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, she's very, she's more Superman than Supergirl, like the female side of Superman. Right. So for me, I think it's better to cast somebody who's relatively unknown. Because, yeah, people have seen the Fast and Furious movies, but, you know, she wasn't, like, the main character in these movies. Mm -hmm. She's only been in a few other movies. I think it's a good thing. It's sort of like when they cast Superman, it tends to be a relative unknown. The other thing is that they're not necessarily even going to really bring her out as Wonder Woman in this movie. She might be this lady, Diana Prince, who's dating uh, Batman, who's dating Bruce Wayne. Yeah. You know? Because they were looking for the love interest for Bruce Wayne with the, the exotic, you know, tall, exotic woman, you know? That's, That's true, that was yeah. The casting. So, so that might be, it might be the kind of hint that Wonder Woman is there. The, look, this is Wonder Woman, but you're not going to get to see her as Wonder Woman yet. It's true. You know, you never know. And I can't stand the excitement already. I mean, I was already super through the moon when they talked about Superman and Batman together in one movie. Now they had Wonder Woman. Yeah. They can't add anyone else. If they add Aquaman, I might just explode with excitement. Well, have you heard? They're already talking like maybe the Flash is going to yeah. be in it. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, totally. But uh, either way, uh, I can't wait. I think Gal Gadot is a great choice. Mm -hmm. I'm super glad because honestly... Uh, I'm mostly just super happy Wonder Woman's gonna happen. Yeah. And I, and I, I think she's a good choice. Uh, and I also like the fact that I never really thought about it. Yeah. Uh, but it is one interesting thing, anime. Generally in these casting things, they have a whole list of people and it's never any of those people. <laughs> she was actually on the list. She was. She definitely was. What do you think? Do you think Gal Gadot is a good choice for Wonder Woman? Or do you think it should have been someone else? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't say Lucy Lawless because yes, <laughs> 10, 15 years ago she would have been perfect. But come on. Get, get over that already. Seriously. And also, what was your favorite part about the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer. Let us know. Either way, guys, you want to listen to a radio show around every week on Indie 100 and The Point. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can send us an email to geekworldradio at yahoo.com and be sure to check out our website, geekworldradio.com. Wonder Woman!